Danish musician Sam uh, Anders Danielson Lush, who is residing in Paris, pays his former girlfriend Fanny, Sigrid Boazes, a visit in order to retrieve some music cassettes must that she may have misplaced. And Sam is repeatedly ignored by Fanny, who is hosting a party, until she finally tells him where the videos are. While Sam is heading to the tapes, he is unintentionally bumped by a partygoer. When he gets there, he faints, and his nose starts to bleed. Sam ignores the commotion that breaks out outside the office door. When Sam wakes up the following morning, the apartment is abandoned, the walls covered with bloodstains, and no one is there. Entering the stairwell, he finds a zombie-like Fanny who lunges for him as he yells her name. He locks himself in her apartment and sees a family. From the apartment across the street die while trying to flee in their car. The only safe place Sam can discover is the apartment, which is located several stories up. It appears as though an army of flesh-eating zombies has overtaken Paris. They move quickly and react in droves to any noise or sight. Additionally, they never vocalize and produce almost little noise at all. They are totally sealed silent. Sam, unable to evacuate the apartment, starts tidying up just as a shotgun round bursts through the floor. Peering through the opening, he finds that one of the occupants underneath him killed himself when his wife, whom he had strapped to a chair after she contracted the infection, died. After getting their shotgun, he goes outside and discovers that the zombies in the staircase have vanished. He shuts the building's doors immediately, isolating himself inside. As Sam visits each apartment in the building, he discovers that the majority of them are vacant. Entering the building's elevator, he discovers an elderly guy, Dennis Levant, who has been transformed into a zombie. He locks the gate and starts a one-sided conversation with the zombie, naming him Alfred. Sam is able to successfully attack the building and take a significant amount of supplies and food. He reserves these and finds some musical instruments in one area, which he uses for his own amusement. Sam grows more and more insane and alone over time. He tries to take in a stray cat that is aimlessly wandering among the living, out of need for companionship, but is almost killed by multiple zombies. Finally, he returns to the flat. When Sam becomes excited, he shoots the cat out of the window. Sam almost kills himself a second time, thinking he was bitten, when he nods off with the shotgun under his head, watching to see if he would turn. He has to deal with a shortage of heat as winter draws near, and the building's running water supply eventually breaks down. Sam manages to survive by gathering rainwater and building a wood-burning fireplace. But his mental health keeps deteriorating. One day, he discovers that most of the streets are deserted. Sam makes the decision to play a loud drum set to gauge the zombies' distance. The living come back in droves, almost clambering into the apartment by stacking on top of one other. Sam is playing despite the danger, because he is furious, and his mind is starting to go crazy. Sam shoots the shotgun through his bedroom door after hearing activity outside. He knows he shot someone else when he hears shouts of pain. In an attempt to provide emergency medical attention, he discovers the woman's bag containing a grapnel hook that she uses to climb from rooftop to rooftop and a lot of rope. The injured woman, Sarah, Gold Shifton Farahani, tells Sam how she has survived when they speak the following morning. He kills the living zombies 
and takes goods from the lowest apartment. She climbs to the roof and threatens to kill or drive Sam crazy if he doesn't leave the flat and accompany her on the road. Sam ignores her at first, but eventually gives in. He goes back to... Sam shoots the shotgun through his bedroom door after hearing activity outside. He knows he shot someone else when he hears shouts of pain. When he tries to provide emergency medical attention, he discovers a mental thingy one so bag containing a lot of rope and a grapnel hook, which she uses to get to his room where she discovers Sarah dead from a gunshot wound. Their entire conversation was a hallucination. He eulogizes her, covers her body, and laments her passing. After making the choice to leave the apartment, Sam burns the tapes and lets the zombie Alfred go. He then walks into Sam's neighboring apartment, where Sam locks him away. A fire alarm went off due to the burning tapes. Consequently, the building is attacked by zombies. They storm inside after smashing through the doors. After shooting a few people in the head with a shotgun, Sam makes it to the roof and swings across the street to the next building, where he climbs to the rooftop and takes in the apparently never-ending Paris cityscape.